Does it bother you that he keeps talking about 2020 and not 2024? I'll ask you first. This is Jonathan Leslie. He's 40, Republican, voted for Trump twice. How do you feel about those lies? So I feel like part of it's also the media narrative, as you guys asked him the first question at the town hall about the 2020 election rather than current stuff. Boom. Roasted. Donald Trump's town hall with CNN was controversial to say the least. It had people excited on both sides. It had people upset on both sides. All in all, it was an event. I'll put it that way. But one of the most interesting aspects to it was actually the focus group afterwards where the host asked the people in the group if they wished that Donald Trump had focused more on 2024 instead of 2020. And the response that he got was awesome. Let's check it out. So all of you feel that way. First thing I want to ask you about, Donald Trump, we have to be blunt about it, is not a truth teller. That's the way he's always been when he was a businessman. That's not biased at all. <laughs> he has lied about the 2020 election. Stuff ballot boxes, it's all made up. He's lost dozens of court cases. Does it bother you that he keeps talking about 2020 and not 2024? I'll ask you first. This is Jonathan Leslie. He's 40, Republican, voted for Trump twice. How do you feel about those lies? So I feel like part of it's also the media narrative, as you guys asked him the first question at the town hall about the 2020 Boom. election rather than current stuff. So don't you think he could say it's time for me to start talking about 2024 and not? So that is 100% true. The very first question that I think her name's Caitlin asked Trump at the town hall was about the 2020 election. And they're in this focus group saying, don't you wish he hadn't talked about 2020? You guys asked him about 2020. And this gentleman right here flipped it right back around on this guy and called him out for it. It's beautiful. Lies that aren't true. Couldn't the media ask him a question about 2024? Exactly. Well, there were questions. but So then the host re responds, well, uh, Trump could have said, let's talk about 2024 instead of answering our question about 2020. Give me a break, man. And then this guy, his response is beautiful again. He says, well, couldn't the media have asked him about 2024 instead of 2020? But you're right. That was the first thing. But that's something that was on our mind. And that's why I was asked first. Mike McLaughlin. Is and you notice the host immediately realizes, so I'm in hot water. I better move on from this. He's like, yeah, you're right. That was on our minds. Uh, moving on. Because... This guy exposed their hypocrisy so perfectly and so clearly. If you guys watch the town hall, the, quote, moderator did nothing but really debate Donald Trump the whole time instead of facilitating the asking of questions by the audience. And she brought up the election. She brought up January 6th. She kept poking the bear. And then they're going to ask in this focus group like it was Donald Trump's fault. Like, don't you wish he hadn't talked about that stuff? Oh, you mean the stuff that you guys asked him about? The media always does this crap, right? And it's just so beautiful to see this guy call CNN out blatantly. And it's obvious what they were trying to do here. Anyway, if you guys haven't checked it out, check out this video on the focus group. I'll link it down in the description. If you haven't watched the town hall, at least check out some highlights. It was entertaining, if nothing else. And let me know what you're thinking for the 2024 election down below. Until next time, I love you all and keep your minds free.